From spiders to ghosts to pumpkins to bats to witches and monsters, I've got it all right here for you. In today's video, I'm sharing six cute, not creepy Halloween lunchbox ideas that will make your kids excited to dig in. If you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any fun lunchbox ideas this upcoming holiday season. For this video, I will be using a new orange lunchbox that I just purchased perfect for Halloween time. Now for the first lunchbox, we are starting off with a pumpkin theme. So I grabbed the sun-dried tomato and basil tortillas. The idea here is I'm gonna add a tortilla, add some shredded cheese and top it off with another tortilla, kind of like a cheese quesadilla circle shaped. Now for the sides, I'm gonna grab these containers that came with it. And I'm gonna start off by adding in this yogurt. This is my favorite, it's high protein. It has 18 grams of protein in it, just because this meal isn't too high in protein. So I wanted to add some on the side here to make sure that she gets full. Now to top the yogurt off, I'm gonna add some full time sprinkles. And of course, since it's pumpkin theme, I'm going with the pumpkin sprinkles topping off the yogurt with that. And then moving on to the wrap. And now that it's done cooking, I'm gonna use these little stencils that I purchased. They're actually cookie cutters, but they come separately with the eyes and the mouth for you to mix and match. So I'm just going through and picking out which ones I wanted to use today. And once I have that figured out, I'm gonna use my edible ink markers to draw on the pumpkin face. Of course, I'm going with black for this one. Now, this stamp is not gonna put the entire eye and mouth onto the tortilla, but it is gonna create an outline so that when I go back and draw through it, I can kind of see exactly where it's supposed to go and how the lines are supposed to look, just because I'm not the most artistic, but this definitely helps make it look better. Everything that you see in today's video, I will leave linked for you down in the description box below. Once I was done outlining it and shading it all in, I absolutely love the way that it turned out. I think it looks really cute and I know that my daughter is gonna love this. Now moving on to the next side. For this one here, I'm just gonna be adding in some strawberries. You really cannot go wrong with strawberries. My kids love them. So I'm just adding two of them in there, cutting them up and adding them into that pink container that came with it. If anyone has any tips or tricks to keep strawberries fresher for longer, please let me know down below. It's something we struggle with in this house. Now, I'm just gonna add some of these pumpkin food picks into the strawberries to add to the orange and the pumpkin theme of this lunch for today. Now let's move on to lunchbox number two. For this lunch, we are gonna be making a sandwich. Into the sandwich, I'm gonna be adding in some salami, another one of my kids' favorite. I'm adding in four slices of salami to make sure that they're full, and then I will be adding in a slice of provolone on top. And the reason is, is because today's theme is ghosts. So I'm going to cut a ghost out of the sandwich to create like a peekaboo effect of the ghost, making sure that the white cheese is on the top. And then I'm going in with my edible ink markers and just drawing a ghost face on the sandwich. I love how easy and quick this idea is. And then for the side, I'm gonna be adding in some cucumber. And now that it's all washed, just slicing it. And then before I add it into the lunch box, I'm actually gonna be adding in one of these cupcake liners. This is a Halloween pumpkin one. But I really like doing this trick every time where I turn the cupcake liner inside out so that we can see the print a little bit better. Adding those in and then just adding in this cute uh, ghost decoration on the side as well. For her next side, I'm gonna be adding in a treat. I found these two gummies. Um, I have never seen these ones before. I don't know if they're new this year or not, but I went with the pack that has the pumpkin, the ghost, and the bat. To go with this lunch, of course, I had to add a Halloween napkin, a ghost one to match the theme for today. So that's two out of six lunch boxes complete. At the end of this video, please let me know in the comments which lunchbox idea was your favorite. Moving on to number three. For this one, you guessed it, it's spider themed. I'm adding this parchment paper down at the bottom 
And to make this super easy, I'm adding just an Uncrustable. In order to turn the Uncrustable into a spider, I'm gonna be using some of these pretzel sticks on the side so that the spider has the eight legs. And then I'm gonna also be adding in some of this candy eyeballs. To make sure that these eyeballs don't fall off of the Uncrustable, I'm gonna be adding a little bit extra peanut butter on the back of each eyeball and sticking it right on top of the Uncrustable. I actually ended up putting a smile on this spider after I was done filming this. You can see it on the thumbnail to this video. It looked very cute that way. And then for the side, I'm adding in some carrots with my skeleton hand. And then I'm also gonna be adding in some broccoli to this lunchbox as well. But on top of the broccoli, of course, I have to be adding some more spiders as well as some black spiders on the orange carrots to make this a little more spidery. And to add on top of that, of course, I'm also adding a spider napkin. This lunchbox was actually super fun to put together. Moving on to lunchbox number four. For this lunchbox, I'm making like a breakfast themed Halloween lunchbox. So while those pancakes cook, I'm gonna start with the sides. I'm starting off with a hard boiled egg since the pancakes aren't much of a protein. And then the idea here was to draw a mummy. Um, but you're gonna laugh when you see the, how this ended up turning out. I thought I'd add some eyes to it, and then I remembered that at Target's Dollar Spot, they had these like boots that you can add. Um, so I decided to add that, and then I remembered that I also grabbed the hands from the Target Dollar Spot as well, so I figured I might as well add those here as well. And then this hard-boiled egg that was supposed to be a mummy ended up just looking kind of cute and funny. So I stuck with it and I think that she will enjoy it when she opens up her lunchbox. Now moving on to the sides, I'm adding in some raspberries. And I'm just topping them off with some of these bat rings. They fit perfectly around the raspberry. So adding two of them onto there. And then now that the pancakes are done and warm, I'm gonna be taking a bat cookie cutter and my black edible ink marker and just outlining it and stamping it onto each of the pancakes. And then again, I'm gonna go through after and outline each one of them as well so that you can see the bat a little bit better. I really like doing this method, especially if you're like me and you're really not artistic. This is perfect. They look much better than if I were to try to freehand and draw some bats. Then moving on to her treat, I'm adding in some of this candy corn and pumpkin mixture. I'm putting them right under the mummy since there is some room there. Now, moving on to the fifth of six lunchboxes. For this lunchbox, I am making a witch-themed lunch, starting off with this napkin that says, I put a spell on you. And for this sandwich, I'm gonna flatten out the bread. You could just use your hands or you can use a mini rolling pin. This one's specific for sandwiches. It's the perfect size. Again, everything will be linked down below. And I'm just gonna use this witch hat to cut out the bread from both slices. And then for this sandwich, it's gonna be a turkey sandwich. But after I cut out the witch hat shapes, I saw that the bread was kind of small and I wanted to make sure that she gets full. So I'm gonna be adding five slices of turkey and cutting them out with the witch cutter. And then I'm just separating these slices between these three pieces of bread adding two or three slices onto each one so that the sandwich is triple layered so that she gets a little bit more full that way. Now that that is done, I'm adding it into the lunch box. And then on the side, I have this witch cauldron that I just grabbed from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna be adding her treat in it. Of course, I had to use the witch's brew Kit Kat. It fit this theme just too perfectly. And to stick with the black and the purple, I decided to use some blackberries as today's fruit and just adding that in to the side container. To top off the blackberries, I'm gonna be adding these witch hat food picks that I also grabbed for $1 at the Target dollar spot. I cannot believe what a good deal I got on all of these food picks. 
So this is a purple witch hat that fits this theme perfectly, just adding those in. And then I figured we should probably have some orange in this lunchbox. So I decided to go with some Cheetos and I'm adding this cute skeleton hand on top of the orange Cheetos. Now we have one lunchbox still to go. For this final lunchbox, this one is actually going to be a monster theme. So I'm starting off with this everything bagel and I'm adding in some pumpkin spice cream cheese to keep it very fall and to keep it orange. And then I'm just gonna add this into the lunchbox, but to turn it into the monster, I'm gonna be adding these silly little eyeballs to the bagel as well as adding in one of these vampire teeth mouth pieces right into the middle of the bagel to give it a monster look as well on the side i'm adding in some of these snacking tomatoes but i'm also going to be adding in an eyeball to the center of it just to make it a little bit more halloweeny and then for her treat today i'm adding in some orange pumpkin peeps and you cannot forget the Halloween napkin. If you enjoyed this video and you found these ideas helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.